sim was fully assembled here in about August last year. We formally qualified it in November last year and we started formal training about a month ago. Simulators do three broad things basically. They enable you to do things that you can't safely do in the aircraft. It provides really good training efficiencies because you can create very specific training environments that you can't do in the real world. And it affords cost savings. We're running this at about 10% of the cost of the aircraft, which means it's safe, it's effective, and it's cheap for the taxpayers. It's got 42 computers. You can change all variables like weather, wind, clouds, time of day. Um, there's also the motion system, which is electro-pneumatic capable of lifting up to eight tonnes. The simulator is very immersive, so when you're in there with all your flying kit on and you're flying the sim, you really believe you're in the aircraft. We spend a lot of time and effort early in their training making sure they understand this is not a PlayStation 3, this is a serious business. And if they have an exceedance or break an airspace limit in the sim, we record it as a violation as if it was done in the aircraft. This is really dragging the RNZAF into the 21st century. This is the first full flight simulator for a helicopter in the country and it's already proven to be a great investment both for us and for the taxpayers.